What is up, everybody? My name is Chu, or if you want to follow me on Twitter and here on YouTube, it's Father Dynasty. And I'm here to talk about three trades involving Tank Dell in Dynasty Fantasy Football. And before I get into it, I'm pulling all these trades from the Dynasty Daddy trade database. And no, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, but do love the tool. You know, please definitely go check that out. It's very helpful in terms of comparing uh, yourself among leagues, looking at positions, able to kind of, you know, change up league settings just to kind of really compare accurately when, when it's looking at uh, trades in other leagues. So definitely a tremendous tool. Uh, but looking at Tank Dell after week nine, heading into week 10, uh, 14.3 points per game, and that was in seven games thus far. Uh, pretty much on par with uh, Christian Kirk. He's at 14 points per game. And thus far, Tank Dell has three games of at least 20 fantasy points and actually was the wide receiver one in all of fantasy football in week nine with 29.6 points. He was certainly one of the many benefactors of C.J. Stroud's uh, historic rookie game. And looking at his ranking and keep trade cut, just for some perspective, he is the wide receiver 25, and that is one behind his running mate, Nico Collins, and one in front of uh, second-year man George Pickens. Uh, looking at my dynasty ranks, I have him as the wide receiver 38, and you can go and check out the rest of my rankings over at goingfor2.com if you're interested. Uh, going ahead and sliding into the first of this trio of deals, it is a 12-team start nine PPR no tight end premium. This one's pretty clean and simple. Uh, Dallas Goddard and Johnny Smith for Tank Dell in a 2024 second. Now, again, I did say no tight end premium, and I can assume the only reason that someone would do this deal to get two tight ends is they must be lacking them. They must have injuries. Maybe they had Waller and somebody else. Um, but the need to get both of those guys... Johnny Smith has been a thorn in many Kyle Pitts owners' sides. Um, and Dallas Goddard, of course, now going down with a forearm injury. I, I believe he broke his forearm and was getting surgery. So he'll be out for a couple of weeks, but it sounded like uh, Coach Nick Sirianni was indicating that he was optimistic he'd be back towards the end of the season. Uh, certainly will be a playoff team, so they will need him back. But in the meantime, you'll have – the A.J. Brown, the Devonta Smith, and those guys fill in. And uh, if you can use Johnny Smith now and then Dallas Goddard, uh, probably in the fantasy playoffs, hopefully if he's back by then, could be useful. But the other side of this, you're seeing Tank Dell and you're seeing a 2024 20, second. I like that a lot. Uh, you know, Tank Dell coming into the year, his rookie year, he's got a rookie quarterback, incredibly undersized. Um, I got a chance to go see the Panthers play the Texans. Uh, a week or so ago in Bank of America Stadium with my buddy. And it was crazy to see him on the field, see Tank Dell, look up his measurements, and he is the exact same height and weight that I am. So I was trying to conceptualize, while I'm not as athletic and talented and all that stuff, simply just being on the field, my frame and everything, and looking around at all these other guys, how daunting of a task is that? And look how well he's producing thus far. He is a route technician. He is a perfect complement, in my opinion, to what Nico Collins can do as the big-bodied, true alpha outside receiver. And he's been great to watch. Um, you know, he's a very exciting player. Uh, I, I think times maybe you're different in terms of seeing someone as small as him do that well, uh, Devon A. Chan, uh, plenty of other smaller guys smaller weapons uh, that i think are being utilized in different ways and i think the game is certainly plenty different from the uh from the days before where it was really only like say the darren sproles or maybe jaquiz rogers that were even kind of productive um so yeah overall i'm seeing tank dell in the 2024 second on this one uh it is close certainly if you do need that tight end help but it's not tight end premium so i'd rather just stream if i needed to give me dale in the 20, 2024 second Jump it over to deal number two, 12 team start 10 PPR, no tight end premium. And this one's fascinating. So is the next one too. Will Levis, Tank Dale, Saquon Barkley, and a 2025 first for C.D. Lamb. Now I know C.D. Lamb has been doing better, 
but I don't even understand how this isn't a smash except for the Will Levis side. Um, you know, what you're getting there, I would honestly probably still do this deal even if it didn't have the 2025 first. It would be closer, but I'd say I'd still do it. And I know that is the, today is the age of uh, devaluing the running back in Dynasty, but with Levis and the hope that he becomes something, at worst he's a, I feel like a back-end quarterback too, as he was today, as of this recording, named the starter going forward. Tank Dell, I think he's a strong depth receiver uh, in fantasy and dynasty. Is he young, young wide receiver tied to a tremendous young quarterback and a quarterback who he seems to have a tremendous connection with. Uh, Saquon Barkley, with all the injuries to the Giants at this point, Saquon is likely their best uh, option at quarterback, as I know he was working that Wildcat last year. Uh, no offense to Tommy DeVito, of course. And just peppering in the 2025 first, you know, this this seems like the person who would trade Levis, Dell, Barkley in that first. I have to believe there's someone who is a strong competing team and they were able to part with this and likely still have, you know, Levis was, I would imagine, not even their third best quarterback. Dell was just a depth receiver. Saquon, it might have been tough for them to give that up. And then the the first in 2025, but... I can see what savvy competing team would do this deal, but I'm taking the Levis side nine times out of 10. And jumping over to the final deal relating to Tank Dell, 12 team start 10 PPR, no tight end premium. This one's bonkers. So you've just got Tank Dell, four, a 2024 first, and a 2025 second. Now, I would do this deal for the first only. I would do it if it was a 2025 first instead of 2024. And I would do it if it was guaranteed to be in the back half. Uh, So someone clearly is a raging Texans fan to do this deal. But, you know, again, you're getting a good player. Not saying you're not. Uh, Certainly when it comes to PPR, I think uh, Dale's been able to garner a good number of targets thus far. And I think this is a pretty uh, pass happy offense as the rushing game has not, not really been much to speak of thus far with the Damian Pierce and uh, Devin Singletary experience thus far. But yeah, I'll take the first and the second and I will laugh straight to the bank with that one. Um, So those were the three trades for tank Dell. Please go ahead and, you know, like this video, subscribe, uh, go ahead and throw it down in the comments. What do you think of these three deals? Do you think, you know, do you think something different? Do you maybe have another point to support what you're thinking? Maybe have you recently either had a tank Dell related trade in dynasty or are considering moving him or acquiring him? Go ahead and drop that down in the comments. You know, we'll talk about that and, uh, love to love to talk dynasty trades nonstop. Uh, and yeah, if, if you're maybe interested in sweatshirt or t-shirt, you can never have enough merch of anything. And I'd like to think that, uh, the merch is at least halfway decent here at Father Dynasty. So we've got the Dynasty Daddy sweatshirt. We've got the just the classic Father Dynasty t-shirt. We've got I traded the 101, uh, one of my favorites in my opinion, and I have done that before in real life. Uh, but go ahead and uh, check out the merch store down in the description. And if you use Daddy12 as a promo code, you get 10% off. But yeah, thanks for stopping by and uh, happy Dynasty.